Hey everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog, another super hot day here in Southern California. Today it is right now 100 degrees. It's supposed to get up to 102. This is the hottest day of the summer so far here for us. And we've decided to come out in our van because we wanna test our Arctic King portable air conditioner and talk to you about it, the pros and the cons, and let you know if on this hot of a day, this portable air conditioner can really cool our van down to a temperature that makes it comfortable enough for us to be in here. We brought a movie to watch, so we're just gonna spend some time out here in our van today. So let me tell you what we've got going on. We are here in Menifee at Wilderness Lakes at Thousand Trails Campground. The temperature in the van when we first came out with the doors open was 104. It is currently 104 degrees Fahrenheit in the van. As you can see, it's now 99. Now, we have only had the air conditioner on literally for a few minutes, maybe four or five minutes, and we also have the door open. Obviously, having the door open is letting in a lot of hot air. So let me show you our setup. In our videos, some of them before we have shown you, but I kind of want to give you another rundown on this one, since you're specifically learning and we're talking about the Arctic King portable air conditioner. This air conditioner has to sit flat and level or it will not work properly. So Bill has built this really, really cool little wooden piece to sit under it because the area that we have it sitting is actually at an angle. So he built this which is perfect because it allows it to sit flat and that allows it to work properly and efficiently. The thing about this air conditioner is it has a vent that vents outside all of the hot air. So if you touch this right now it's just mildly warm. But the longer the air conditioner is running, this tube is going to get extremely hot. The problem about that is it radiates heat into the front of the van. Because of the heat radiating from this tube, we've learned two things to try in order to keep the heat down in the cab of our van. The first thing is we're gonna wrap the tube in this blanket, hopefully to contain some of the heat within the blanket so that it's not constantly radiating into the cab. The other thing we've learned, which we're gonna step outside right now and show you, is we have made a cover for our front window, which will help keep the sun from coming in the front and adding to the heat, which is already being radiated off of this too. Before we even bought the Arctic King, one of the things that we put up were these curtains, and they are heat resistant. We actually were able to fully close them and velcro them to together which kept the heat out now in order to allow this air to come out it's a little more difficult because obviously we can't close them all together the purpose of these is to try to keep the hot air from the front from coming into the back because the back is our living area this is where we are sleeping watching our movies kind of spending our time relaxing and hanging out but if it is constantly venting hot air this direction it's not efficient we also crack a window right here in order to help some of the heat up here to be pushed out the window. But the whole goal, of course, of having this air conditioner is to cool it down, but then we also have to figure out how to keep the heat out of our space over here, which is where we're living and what we're trying to cool off. This is the only area that we really care about it being cool, so this is what we're always trying to keep the coolest spot in the van. We also do have the vent here. This vent that we put in, if you didn't watch this video, you should because it is amazing. Yes, we did cut a hole in our van, just the two of us, Bill and I. Bill did the research on what we needed to do and we put this in and this allows the hot air to vent out the top. So that is a really, really helpful thing as well. Now. It has already, just since I've been talking, come down two more degrees back here. And we do have the door open because, 
because we wanted to be able to go in and out in order to complete this part of the video. So, even with the door open, it has come down a couple more degrees. Now let's step outside. I wanna show you the cover that we made for the front of our van window. Phil and I measured and sewed a sheet. We actually had found a nice red sheet that would fit perfectly. We just had to hem the edges and make it a little bit smaller in order to fit on our windshield. We used Velcro. We stitched this piece onto the fabric and we put the Velcro piece on here in order to hold it in place. So we have been able now to have a cover that we can take on and off fairly easily in order to try to keep the heat out of the front of the van as much as possible. Based on our experience using the Velcro that is self-stick, we're gonna make changes already right away. We just put this on a couple of days ago and we're already experiencing some problems with the Velcro. Because of the heat, the sticky just doesn't work as well as we'd like it to. So we've come up with a better plan. Actually, I should say Bill came up with a better plan. We are going to sew small magnets in and the magnets will magnetize to the van. We know that'll work perfect because it works great with our screen when we want to open it, the magnets stick to the sides perfectly. So that's going to be an easy on and off solution. So we have plugged into the electricity at the campground. This is a 30 amp plug. So we have purchased our pigtail power adapter that just will plug in then to our extension cord that's plugged into the air conditioner in the van and this will allow us to get power from the campground which is definitely enough power to run our air conditioner as long as we need. We've now come inside, we've wrapped our tube with the blanket and put the bungee cord on it to hold it in place. Hopefully that will keep some of the heat from radiating into the cab. We're going to close everything up now, close our curtains a little bit better to keep as much heat in the front and venting out this window that we have cracked open over here and keep the back as cool as possible. We're going to start our movie and we'll check in with you in a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to hook up my battery because we're gonna watch a movie. We are still using our battery and our solar today to run our DVD player and our television. The only thing we're using the campground electricity for is our air conditioner. So I'm going to hook the red up first, which is the positive, and then I'm going to hook up the negative I've put everything back in the cupboard so that we can close it all up while we watch our movie. I'm going to turn my inverter on. And that's going to provide power to everything. So my TV is coming on. And the lights are on my DVD player as well. And I'm going to put my movie in. Close this up while we're watching it. Yeah, buddy. We've paused our movie. As you can see, it's 3.03 p.m. and 102 degrees outside. So it is really, really hot. It's the heat of the day right now. And <laughs> it is 79 degrees. Which is really awesome. It's definitely cooled down in here and it is working really, really great. All right, everybody, we're gonna end our video here. We're gonna finish watching our movie and enjoy the rest of our day here at the campground. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you have any comments 
thoughts or suggestions on what we can do to help our Arctic King run more efficiently, keep it cooler in here, anything about our video today that might be helpful, please leave comments and suggestions below. We really want to know if you have anything helpful for us, that would be great. So I hope you enjoyed our video. I hope you enjoyed our review on the Arctic King and getting our van cooled down using that and some other things like the cover on the front of our window. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.